In this video, I will teach you how to identify the driving predecessors or driven successors for any task in Microsoft Project. Did you know that there's a special feature in Microsoft Project that will allow you to select any task in your project schedule and then be able to easily see its driving predecessors or driven successors? Most people don't even know this feature exists, but I'll show you the feature and teach you how to use it. So let's get started. Some time ago, Microsoft introduced a new feature in Microsoft Project that would allow you to easily determine all predecessors and all successors to any selected task in your project. Before you attempt to use this feature, however, you do need to select the task for which you want to determine predecessors and or successors. So I'll select number 38, Carpentry Complete. Then click the Gantt Chart Format Ribbon tab to display this ribbon. If you do have the Critical Tasks option selected in the Bar Styles section of the ribbon, you'll see your Critical Task Gantt Bars formatted in red and Non-Critical Task Gantt Bars formatted in blue. I strongly recommend that you do deselect the Critical Tasks checkbox to temporarily disable this feature. Then click the Task Path Pick List button. On the menu, you'll find four choices. Predecessors, which are all the predecessors for the selected task. Driving predecessors, which are only the predecessors that actually control the start date of the selected task. Successors, which will be all of the successors for the selected task. And then finally, driven successors, which are only those successors whose start date is directly driven by the selected task. So let's start first with predecessors. When I select this option, notice that Microsoft Project formats the Gantt bars of every predecessor using the yellow Gantt bar color. Notice that pretty much every task in this section of the project leading up to task number 38 is a predecessor, so that's probably what I would have imagined. Next, I'll click the Task Path Pick List button again, but now I want to see which predecessors are actually driving predecessors that are driving the start date of Carpentry Complete. When I select this option, Microsoft Project will format the driving predecessors task Gantt bars with the orange Gantt bar color. Notice that all the tasks in the Carpentry section are orange. All the tasks in the Design section are orange, but the tasks in the Office Packup section are still yellow. That's because these tasks do not directly drive the start date of my selected task. Now I'm going to clear the highlighting because that's actually what this is called. It's Gantt bar highlighting, basically. And let's scroll down, and I'm going to select another task. This will be number 40, Install New Fuse Box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Successors. So I'll go to the Task Path, Pick List button, and I'll choose Successors. Notice that Microsoft Project formats each of the successor tasks using the light purple Gantt bar color. So all the tasks in the electrical and plumbing section are light purple. 
The tasks in the telecommunications section, however, are still blue. They are not a true successor to the selected task. And all of the tasks in the Furnish section and Post Renovation section, they are also the light purple, so they are all successors. And then finally, let's take a look at Driven Successors. When I select this option, notice that the light purple Gantt bars are now a dark purple color. These are the tasks that are directly driven in start date by my selected task number 40, install new fuse box. So I see dark purple in electrical and plumbing. The telecommunications section, I still see the blue. They're not a successor of any kind. And also in the sections for furnish and post renovation, notice these are light purple, so they are not driven successors. When you finish with analyzing predecessors and or successors, click the Task Path Pick List button, choose the Remove Highlighting option, and then if you did have the critical path displayed in your Gantt chart screen, be sure and select the Critical Tasks checkbox as well. Well, now you know the secret for identifying driving predecessors or driven successors for any task in your Microsoft Project schedules. I sure hope this video taught you something new that you didn't know about Microsoft Project. If it did, be sure and give it a like, subscribe, and click the notifications button. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.